Hi, this is Jason with Days Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to set magnification shortcut on Motorola. That's right, I have a Motorola Edge phone and I'm getting older so I can't see the screen so well. So sometimes I have to magnify the, you know, zooming in with your fingers is fine, but having a magnifying glass that can go over your screen, you can see what's already built into your phone, really does help with those smaller print things. Like on here, you see this is really small print. I need to magnify that to be able to read it, but I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. But before we get going, hit the like on this video, it helps our channel. Also, hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos I come out with every Thursday. And I'm 100% this year, so check back every Thursday, you'll find a new one here. Um, last week, we covered how to amplify sound on Samsung. That was my wife's phone, the Samsung Galaxy S22. On most Samsungs, it works the same way. So you can check that out. I'll put the link down below. Also, I write an article before I ever do a video. So there'll be a link down below for this exact video. So you can go check that out if you like to read more than you like to watch videos. All right, let's get this started so we can get to the point here. So we're going to get out of the screen when you're on. I'm on a Motorola Edge Android phone. So this should be working mostly the same on most Motorola's. Go out here and then you want to do swipe down from the top twice because that's how this this works and down here at the bottom right you're going to tap on that gear icon so we're going to tap on that and this is going to pop up you're going to scroll down until you find accessibility which is right here on my my um, phone tap on that and it's going to open this up you're going to scroll down a little bit until you see huh that's right magnification that's it's off right now because i wanted to show you how to do this so i'm going to tap on that all right, now we're here. This is the magnification screen. Quickly zoom in on the screen to make content larger. So right now it's off, um, and then you have magnification type, and then you have magn magnify t typing. That's just the actual keyboard part. We're gonna go over the main part here. So this also gives you, tells you what it does down here. It gives you some information on that. But we're gonna tap the on switch right here. So tap on that. And then it's gonna pop up with this little icon on the side. That's your magnification icon. Your accessibility button is what they call it. To use this feature, tap the accessibility button on your screen, which is right there on the left. You can actually move that by dragging it, by holding it down and going, wee, you know, you can put it over on that side if you want. And just tap, got it. Now you have it turned on. Now we wanna set it up to the way we want it to magnify. So that's the next one down, magnification type. Now we're gonna tap on that one right here in the middle. See, right now it says partial screen. So here is the place where you can actually set the magnification the way you want to show up on your screen. So magnify your full screen, a specific area, or switch between both options. So they have magnify full screen if you want to have that. The next one down is magnify part of the screen. So it gives you this little uh, rectangle you can move around on the screen or switch between the two. I think that's more confusing. I like to have just the area I want to read magnified. So I chose that. So you can do the big one up here or I like the middle one. So I'm gonna show you how that one works. So right down here, once you select the one you want, just tap the save down at the bottom right corner. And then when you do that, now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tap on that little accessibility icon, tap it and look at that. And then when you wanna move it around, you can magnify different areas so you can see where it is. So the see, this is a lot, it's really nice to have this too, cause trust me, see the font, the, all that, wording is much easier to read for us older people even young people if you strain your eyes during the day this will make it a lot easier on you if you don't want to do that so if you want to turn it off you just tap that again it's off very simple to do um, i find this is a really good feature on the motorola phones to have so if you want to switch it back to whatever like we'll do the full screen now so i'm going to go okay save that and then i'm going to tap this now see the whole Look at that. Now the whole screen is, once you touch it, is it basically zooms in. So let's say I go like that. You tap it again. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so that one's a little more difficult. I like the other one better. So this one's kind of a funky one. Down here they have, you might want to mess with this a little bit on your own to see if you actually like it. So I'm going to go back to what I liked. I'm going to go back to the middle one and save that. And that's how easy it is to set magnification shortcut on your Motorola device. So this is the Motorola Edge Android phone. Definitely set that up, it's really nice. You can turn it off anytime you want so you don't have to have it on all the time, but when you have that small print you can't read, this is a nice way to make it easier to read for you. That's it, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com. That's where all our articles are, and also make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.